Hi guys, it's been a little while. I'm sorry if you see this craziness on the surface, but it is my craft table, so that's why it looks like that. Da <laughs> you guys have no idea. It's like I'm literally transforming back to when I was 10 years old. I have been wanting to tie-dye tie -dye for the... Look, I can't even talk. I purchased this, I think, for, I don't know, $11, $12 or something. There are so many different colors. As you can see, there are multiples of some of them. Some of the colors I'll probably hold off on. We will not do... Uh, much today where I'm thinking I'm just going to have to, um, can I get my words together? I think we're just going to tie-dye a pair of socks, but these are the contents in the tie-dye kit. I decided to get the party kit, what they call like the, a party kit, because it has uh, a lot of contents inside. So it comes with the project guide, the six pairs of gloves, 18 bottles, and like I said, there are multiples of, I think, red blue i think yellow and maybe orange there are 90 rubber bands and a plastic table cover i do have newspapers but i think mm, maybe i'll save the plastic cover and i'll just use newspaper i am excited if you are excited continue to watch so since this is really messy, you're going to either need that plastic table cover that comes with the kit, or you will need old newspaper, something to cover your surface. You're going to need gloves. You're going to need bags or something, maybe a Ziploc bag, something to put your item in when you're done tie-dyeing so it, the colors don't leak everywhere. And make sure that your bags do not have holes in them. And if you can double bag them, I would probably would, uh, would recommend that. Mm, if not, maybe a Ziploc bag will do. And then lastly, you just need the item that you're going to tie-dye. So I just pur purchased a giant pack of uh, 12 pairs of socks. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry if in the background you hear noise, maybe water dripping or sound like it's pouring outside. We got snow, and now it's all melting. Creepy. Okay, so make sure, sorry that you're staring at a whole bunch of random grocery items, but I thought that this would be a better idea. I'm going to put on my gloves. <laughs> Actually, maybe for this part, you probably don't need to put your gloves on, but I'm going to just pull out one of the pairs of socks. And I hear that cotton and silk, and there's another material, sorry guys for the shaking, um, that is really good for tie-dye. So here is our pair of socks. Okay, so we're going to open this bad boy up. I love, love, love all the different types of designs on here. We're going to try to create different designs. Like I said, I haven't tie-dyed since I was a little kid, so we are going to... Try this out, and we're just going to try with a pair of socks for now. Later, I'll purchase some shirts and bags, maybe have some hats and things like that. I thought that this would be a really uh, fun summer, spring project, um, and, and maybe an all-around time project. So, let's get into this kit. So, we have pink t-shirt, red, coral, orange, yellow, lime, green, teal, turquoise, blue, purple and violet black okay so here are the contents of the kit here we have our rubber bands there should be 90 of them here's our little instruction guide our tie-dye bottles 
gonna flip this around. I think that would be a little bit easier. Here are the gloves, and this is the plastic cover. So it's literally a complete kit. A complete kit, you don't need anything else, you just need gloves, your item to tie-dye, which today we have socks, which I thought was really cute. I have a sock addiction. I love, love, love socks. <laughs> I've always loved socks. I have many, many different types of socks, shapes, colors, different textures, soft socks. Um, but anyways, fleece socks. So I thought that socks would be fun uh, to start with. So yeah we are going to read the directions and i will be right back i'm pretty sure you just add water to the bottles as i've seen in so 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 many videos because i have been non-stop watching youtube videos um, of people tie-dyeing so as you can see maybe i'll choose a different color so you can see there is a pre-measured amount of powder in the bottle already okay so i'm not sure if you can see that but i'm so sorry for the water dripping pouring in the background um i don't know if you can see that guys but it is a pre-measured amount of powder okay so you don't have to do anything to the bottle except um except to add water up to that fill line right there. That's all you would have to do and shake it until it is dissolved as the bottle states right there. So you are looking at a really light pink, two fuchsias they give you, two reds, a coral, an orange, two yellows, a lime, a green, a teal, two turquoise i believe a blue purple violet and black so some of them they give you doubles um, and the bottles are a little bit smaller than what i thought they were going to be and probably because there are so many of them and the reason why i got this kit is because they came in a variety of colors and i wanted many different colors many different color um kits excuse me online come with maybe two three four five colors um, and I wanted an array of colors so but again this is my first time dying and I don't even know how many years so let's um get these bottles filled up so first I want to kind of figure out what kind of does no not design but what color scheme I want so I'm thinking maybe I don't know if this blue is going to be really, really dark. I don't want a dark blue. I want a kind of a light blue. Or maybe I can do... Maybe teal would be cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to try these three colors. So I'm going to fill these up and we'll be right back. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You just add your water to your bottles. I didn't go all the way up to the fill line. I did see in a video where somebody recommended maybe not to filling it all the way up to the fill line because then the water, um, excuse me, then the color really dilutes and it's really, really runny and watery and it is run all over the place. So I'm going to shake these up really, really good. Make sure that the pigment is um, well dissolved in the bottle. And then the next step is to take our rubber bands here and um, kind of take our sock and, I was going to say transform, <laughs> I was trying to look for the word. Um, you are going to take your sock and kind of twist it and turn it into different um, bends and crinkles and things um, so that we can come up with a design. So we're going to do that for both of our socks here and yeah so let's shake these up real quick and then we'll come back to our socks guys i think i'm going to work on top of a bag as well just in case because i know the colors are going to seep into the newspaper and this will just be a little bit easier for me to clean up so Look at that, saving our, 
our contents for now. We don't even have to use all of our colors. We have plenty of rubber bands for next time. We don't even need all of these rubber bands. Um, don't know how many we need, but they look like really thick, good quality rubber bands as well. Not cheap. Doesn't look like they're going to pop really quickly. And again, there's 90 of those rubber bands. So I'm going to go ahead. And guys, again, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason. This is entirely up to you. So if you think about it, a sock is not, I mean, when you're putting, when you're wearing a shoe, you don't really see your sock. I mean, but if you're on the house um, or if you're wearing a cute pair of shoes, you're normally just going to see this part. Um, for me, this is just for fun right now, so I'm just going to do them however but I would assume if you are tie-dyeing a sock and you want for your sock and the colors to be shown, I would maybe do this part because you're definitely going to see this part um, of your shoe. But for me, I think that I want to focus the attention in my... Let's see... Maybe the ball of my foot here, and then my toe area, definitely up here. But, I mean, for now, we're just going to, I mean, you literally can just go like this. Take your rubber band, twist them around. You can go like this, and make like little, little, um, I don't even know what to call them. And wrap it around like this and tie dye like that. You could just be really creative when it comes to folding. So I am just going to take my sock and just start making random folds. And taking my rubber band and putting it where I want. Just like that. I really don't think it's it should be any more difficult than that. So then we're going to take more of our sock. Let's see. Maybe I'll start from the toe. Oh, look, it still has a little. I really want to crinkle the toe up. So, as best as you can, crinkle that thing up <laughs> and place your rubber band around your little toe. And if it's too loose, go ahead and tie it again and so that's what you're going to keep doing and keep doing that until you get kind of a ball and I'll be right back and that's what you're going to do as well you're going to keep grouping it together okay so that took me a little while so this is what I have so far this is my focus this is my first sock so in between all of the rubber band folds and all the folds that I made with the twisting and turning of the sock, I am now holding together the sock with the rubber bands. And as we add the colors to each piece, the colors are going to seep into the tie-dye. We are going to put it in the bag after we're done applying all of our colors and wait six to eight hours or even overnight. And then you are going to pull out your your sock in this case our pair of socks out of the bag rinse them I believe you wash them and dry them and then you are ready to wear your socks so we are going to continue to fold our other sock guys this part is totally up to your creation you are going to flip and fold the sock and twist the sock however you want there's no right or wrong way to do this um, or you don't even have to do this. It, I mean, depending on what kind of design you want, 
you don't have to do it this way. You can leave the sock just flat out on the surface and just tie dye it that way with a little brush. I've seen so many different ways. So there's so many different ways that you can do this, guys, but you're just going to continue to do that and then I'm going to bring it all together and tie it all together. And I missed this little part there, so you just fix it just like that and that's it. So now you have your socks ready to go. And the beautiful thing about tie-dye is that no sock is like no two socks, no sock. What am I trying to say? Is ever going to be the same? You guys know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I think I first want to start with maybe... The... I don't know if I want to start with the purple, the violet and the purple, or I want to start with the green. Maybe I'll start with the darker purple first. So guys, this is what we're going to do, and it's cool because you can go ahead and add water later if we get down to, because it is very pigmented. Hold on to that cap. Very, very pigmented. So you can go ahead and add water later. I just wanted to do a little test and thankfully I'm wearing a shirt that I didn't really care about because I just got <laughs> I just got it on my shirt okay so here we go we're just gonna put one sock to the side and I don't want to make that much of a mess so we are just going to not squirt so hard. I see people like really like, you know, like a, make a mess everywhere. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that the pigment does get in there. But I don't really want to make a mess. And if you, if you spill some just like that, that's okay. Go ahead and take your sock and kind of pick it up. It's not that big of a deal. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to continue. Like I said, if it beads up and you get some on your surface, go ahead and pick it up. So, guys, that's what you're going to keep doing. You're going to continue to place your colors wherever you want. It is not difficult at all. Guys, I have, like, a little technique. If you take your tie-dye item and you take your bottle... You find the area that you want to tie dye, and you really push that bottle into your item, and gently let that tie dye go. It's gonna go. It's gonna seep right into your item. I see a lot of people kind of just squirt and make a huge mess all over the place. That's totally not necessary. Be in control of this stuff because it can get really out of hand and really, really messy. So. I like to kind of just take my time, get it in there, you know, if you make a mess, oh well, I mean, you're going to make a mess, but I, I mean, if I can try to avoid a huge mess, guess what, I'm going to, so just continue that way with all of your colors, okay? Yes, I, there are so many different ways and techniques and colors and methods and ways that you can do this thing but I personally like to have white in my tie-dye so a lot of people kind of just mud out the entire um, item I actually like to see white uh, but you are you do have folds and things so you are gonna have some white in in there but I do like to keep some of the item you know I do like to see a little bit of white so that's what I have so far. Now I'm going to add the violet. You guys are getting some snow 
water ASMR. Okay guys, so the weirdest thing just happened. I just finished tie-dyeing my socks here and we are going to have plenty and plenty, 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 plenty of time to tie-dye the rest of these socks for the rest of the spring and summer since we're all going to be indoors. So I have my project here sitting out. I think that I want to not wash it out anytime. Well, I don't think I want to wait the six to eight hours. I think I want to wait, wait maybe three to four hours because I think the longer you wait, the more vibrant and bright your colors are going to be. Um, in this case, I wanted to not have them be so bright. So I think I'm gonna pull them out in maybe three or four hours. And then also I wanted to show you that if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do down below. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and make sure that to when you subscribe, it's very important. It's very important. Listen up. You have to make sure that you click the notification bell because if you don't click, click the notification bell, you won't be notified when I make videos. So if you'd like to see this DIY kit very, very soon, probably in the next couple of days, possibly next week I'm gonna get into this kit it is by creative you do it yourself um, they are all in one kits I want you to please make sure that you subscribe down below so that you can be notified when this video uploads because this is gonna be a very 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 fun one I have been wanting to find kits like this for the longest time finally found them this is actually a two pack so it came together like this in one pack but it's two kits so one, as you can see, is a bath bomb kit. The other is an aromatherapy kit. Very, very, very cute. They both have different contents in them. This um, kit was $10, so $5 for this one, $5 for this one. Um, and yeah, I thought that that would be something very fun. And that would be a cool video to do. So I thought that I would pick that up. So that's what I did. So stay tuned if you'd like to see me get into this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And make sure you check back because we're going to check these socks in a couple of hours, okay? Bye. Hi guys, what I was trying to say in the last slip. Sorry for the echo, I'm currently in my bathroom and I'm trying to rinse these last pair of socks that I have that I did last night. I was editing that video, um, this video, <laughs> um, and the current, or the scene before, or the clip I should say. Sorry, I just woke up and I'm trying to... I'm trying to think. <laughs> so, be careful with the bag that you're using because I was using this bag but I got dye on it and I just put it on my countertop. And you don't want to stain your countertop. So go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this. I'm going to rinse these cells. I'm going to continue to rinse them and I'll be right back. You see, 
you got to be really careful with the rubber bands that you do use because the rubber band that I was using currently still had a little bit of purple. I do not want purple in this sock at all. So I might have to go in and do something about that little purple spot because I didn't want any purple in these socks at all. So they might be ruined. Hopefully not. Be very careful. Sorry guys. So be very careful when you are rinsing these because you can get dye all over the place. And normally I use my stainless steel sink, but the lighting is better over here. So I decided to use my sink in my bathroom, but you want to be very, very, very careful. So I'm going to take out the ribbon or the rubber bands out of these socks. And also when you're taking the rubber bands out of these socks, you have to be very careful because take them out very, very slowly and you don't want to rip them out because if you rip them out, you're going to get dye all over the place. Trust me because I've already done it. So just be careful when you are removing the rubber bands off of the sock. So just continue to rinse until the water runs clear. So earlier in the video, I was recommending that you please make sure that you rinse out your rubber bands well enough because if you reuse them and they're dyed, um, when you go to re-dye them and they're on your sock, you may get a little dye. And that's what happened here. This sock was supposed to be just yellow and green only. And because I didn't make sure that that band was really, really, really rinsed, I now what I consider ruined my sock because I just wanted yellow and green. And the other sock barely has any of this purple color. So now I have this sock and that's not how I wanted it. But so this is what the other side looks like. And it may look cool to you, but that's not how I wanted this sock. And it shouldn't have been that way, but because I didn't make sure that the rubber band was fully rinsed, this is what happened. So just make sure that you rinse your rubber band really, really well. Well, this is what I have so far. It's still pretty cool, just I might have to go in with the other sock and add a little purple or I can leave it like that. Yeah, that's gonna bother me. Because this sock This sock, as you can see, doesn't have any purple in it really at all. So see, this is exactly how I wanted the sock to come out. See how there's literally no purple in this at all? Little spot there. This is how the sock was supposed to come out. But I guess to be very careful when you're removing your rubber band. So guys, really that's all you're going to do, you're just going to rinse out your sock and then until the water runs dry, you can pop it in your washing machine. So just be careful when you have it in your washing machine because you can dye other clothing. So be very, very, very careful and you also have to dry it. I have seen many videos um, with people saying that you have to dry the socks individually. I have not tried it that way. I just rinse them and then I will hang them to dry and eventually I'll throw them in the washer. Again, that's, or uh, eventually I'll throw them in the wash is what I'm trying to say. But I think that this sock came out kind of sick. 
The other one doesn't match, but that's okay. I kind of want to see more when they're dry, how they're going to look. But for right now, this is what we have. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to just subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to just click that notification bell so you can be notified every